Okay, I am like seriously super impressed so far with South American buses. What color are you going to make the waffles? Green. Why green? Because it's going to be gross. Ew. Are Good morning. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That should be probably pretty good. <laughs> Whoa, it did turn out pretty green. Peanut butter and honey, dulce de leche and chocolate chips. And yours is dulce de leche and chocolate chips. How's the green one? Good. Good? Uh, good morning. So it was so wonderful to stay here with this family. Uh, looking this beautiful, overlooking this beautiful lake. Wow! Just absolutely amazing. Um, but today we are leaving. Uh, Bear Loche, and we are taking an 18 and a half hour bus ride to Santiago, Chile. The bus leaves here at 3 p.m. and will arrive in Santiago 9 a.m. It's an overnight bus, and it's really amazing. Like, we're going to be going through the mountains while it's still daylight, and then we'll be sleeping through most of Chile, and then we'll wake up and we'll be in Santiago. It'll be great. And they're supposed to be getting snow here tomorrow, so we wanted to get out before the snow came. Um, but yesterday, rock climbing was so much fun. And we always love the opportunity to stay with the family, be able to have access to a kitchen. People, Peter can make uh, waffles. That was great this morning. Peter, are you excited to be making waffles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited for Santiago. Should be super fun. Uh, I think we're going to end up being in Santiago for a while, do some day trips from around there. We shall see. And I was, oh, here's the thing. So here's why we're not flying. For some reason in South America, as soon as you cross a country's border, the ticket prices just skyrocket. So we flew from um, Buenos Aires to Bariloche, and I can't remember the exact price, but I, I know it was under $200 for both of us. Now, when you want to fly from Bariloche to Santiago, all of a sudden, it's $1,000 for both of us. So then I looked at, okay, from here in Bariloche, we could take an eight-hour bus ride to Puerto Montt, which is the chilly part of Patagonia. And then once you're in Puerto Montt, then you can hop up to Santiago for like $70. And I was like, great. But then when we were staying in the greenhouse hostel, we ran into somebody who had taken the bus from Santiago and it was $40 a person. So right there, that saved us money, that saved us time, tr not having to go um, to and from an airport and all of that. So we're just gonna skipping Puerto Montt. It looked like a really cool town as well. So that is why we are taking an 18 and a half hour bus ride. Stay tuned, it should be super long. <laughs> Alright, so we had gotten chocolate from Tori's and from, oh, what's the R one? Rapa Nui. Rapa Nui. And we heard that Rapa Nui is definitely one of the best here in town, but also this place, the Mamushka. Mamushka? How do you say it? Mamushka. Mamushka. So we went in there, got a quarter kilo to go with us on our bus, um, and also then, um, of course, we had to get a hot chocolate. Oh, it was so good. It was basically just like melted chocolate. You could see even little chocolate pieces in there. Probably the best hot chocolate ever, right? Um, probably, yeah. I'd say it's the best hot chocolate ever. And uh, the co coffee was really good and the little tiny treats. All right, but now, finally, we gotta go to the bus station. All right, we made it on the bus. <laughs> um, 10 minutes to go time. Let's go through the Andes Mountains. Oh, oops, I 
have been over there because that's where the beautiful lake view is and overlooking um, Baron Loche right there. Always check Google Maps and kind of guess which route you're going to take and pick the side of the bus based on the route. Yeah. Oops. We needed some protein. That meat and cheese filled us up quite nicely. And neither one of us are arguing over this last piece of cheese. It's very bland. Yes. Very unfortunate. So Lisa was like, you would think, well, a good wine if it has some good cheese to go with it. I guess that's just France. <laughs> All right, it's time. It is time. Perfect. One to eat right now. Dulce de leche with the mountain top. Mm. It has a little bit of a salt taste to it. Really good. This one's called Diamond, and it's a fruit flavored one. I know I just should have eaten the whole thing. You didn't like it as much as I did. Lots of cherry ones. Oh, it's liquor. Not fan. It's really strong liquor. I don't like liquor and chocolate. That's really strong, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. That's your. I like the fruit. You <laughs> like the liquor ones. Goodness, this one just exploded and got everywhere. Oh goodness gracious. So I'm just like sticky. open this up. No, sticky, leave it. Leave it. Mess. You just head down. Gracias. Holy cow. You got a snack of everything. That's amazing. Okay, I am like seriously super impressed so far with South American buses. I had no idea it would be this good, honestly. My expectations were like just a little higher than India. I know. I just didn't do my research, so I just didn't know how amazing they are. But look, seriously, out of no other bus. No other bus have we ever gotten a snack thing. And um, our host, who we were staying at the Loge, said that she even had a meal on a, on a bus to Buenos Aires. So yeah, buses here are great. So between Argentina and now um, on to Chile, there's 40 kilometers of no man's land. So that's currently what we are driving through. Let me tell you a scary story. <laughs> oh goodness, trying to get some lighting to say goodnight. <laughs> we'll see tomorrow when we arrive at Santiago. Time to go to sleep. Yeah. That medium is quite small. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Though. Remember, it's kind of more like Italy, I guess. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, small portion. Cheers. <laughs> Everybody's ready. Please don't Dig in. Yourself. Good looking fire. So you don't want to put meat on something where you can't hold your hand there for like 10 seconds. It needs to be low heat. Oh, ah, gotcha. I'm going to slow cook it. Yeah. This one's fattier. You cannot get this cut in the States. It's called vacio, and it's the side of the cow. Ah, so it's okay. It's got this kind of fat layer. Yeah. It's going to be real crispy and yummy. Nice. Kind of like bacon. Yeah, we call it. Beef bacon. Nice.